welcome to my channel the learning destination and today i am going to show you how we can install the prometheus and the grafana server on the kubernetes cluster so for that i do have already um, my brand new eks cluster is ready and uh, to install the prometheus firstly we need to install the matrix server so i am going to give this link into the description sections you can take it from there and it's our official amazon documentations so let me copy this command to deploy the matrix server with the following command so you can see that it started creating the resources now okay let's go to the another section this is the second one that uh, verify that whether all the resources are up and running or not so now the matrix server is still not ready it will take some time and uh, we will check again so since it will take some time let's wait for some time okay so now matrix server is ready now we will follow the next okay so this is the procedure to install the matrix server now i am going to install the uh, prometheus server so basically as you know that prometheus server is usually a uh, fetch all the data from the control plane nodes so firstly we need to create one namespace called prometheus then secondly we need to uh, deploy it through the helm so make sure that uh, you should have helm already installed okay so repository is already there so i do not need to i simply i can install it i do not need to add the repository of the prometheus helm because it is already there and that's why i am simply going and installing it so it will take some time okay perfect now next let me check that what's the status of the prometheus pods as of now so the prometheus server is still it is in progress and it will take some time to come up so let's wait for some time and then we will access it okay so now it is up and running so now we can access its console and basically in this step what we are doing generally we are uh, forwarding uh, the particular port on 9090 so we can access it locally so the server is up and running and you can see that i can access this from Ethereum on this particular local node. Let me go and check it here. Okay, it doesn't copy yet. So here we go. Uh, now you can see that I have successfully uh, enabled the Prometheus server, and I am successfully able to log in inside that, and I can access the dashboard now. Now let's check something inside that. So let's suppose uh, we are going to check the container memory usage byte here. and check here container memory uses by here and see execute so this is the raw data basically we are getting as of now and uh, then you can check the graph as well 
So here from the graph, you can check what's the status of your uh, control plane uh, memory utilization here. These are the details. You can get it from here. Uh, apart from that, if you go under the status and the target sections, where you can find out all the endpoints here and other valuable information. But if you see guys like in a friendly way that Prometheus dashboard is not, uh, uh, we cannot find in an easy way. Like it's not pretty much friendly. The data is in very raw format. So whenever we give any presentations in front of like uh, some clients, uh, it doesn't look good. And that is the reason that here the Grafana comes in the pictures. And now I'm going to show you how we can install the Grafana on the Kubernetes cluster, which gives you more convenient and easy way and it shows the data. Okay guys, so I'm going to start to install the Grafana now and the command is already ready with me. And I'm going to paste this command into description sections. You can take it from there. So firstly, we are going to create one namespace by the name of uh, Grafana. So let me take another terminal because on that terminal, the Prometheus is already running. So now I have created the Grafana namespace and now I'm going to install this. I may get some error. If I get some error, then I will fix it. So basically I have taken the PowerShell command. I need to take git bash terminal. So now I can run this command. So basically I am installing as of now the Grafana with the using of Helm. And it will take some time. So let's wait for some time. So now it is creating role, role binding. It's done. And now it is it itself saying that export the particular, you know, uh, I mean, how we can access the Grafana. Uh, so it is saying that export the particular URL, right? So if we do like, and then after we run this command, right, it gives us the particular, the endpoint. So we can access the Grafana using the GUI interface. So let's see that. Firstly, we will check all the Grafana resources, whether it's up or not, and what's the current status. So now you can see from here, uh, the pod Grafana is running, the load balancer uh, it given, the endpoints, then apart from the deployment is also ready and replica set is also ready. So seems everything okay. And now, as I said, that we can get the particular, uh, the service, the endpoints by running this command. Not this one, let me copy once again. And now we can exactly take the particular endpoints from here. So this is the endpoint to access our Grafana site. Let's copy it. Here we go. You can see that the Grafana is getting loaded now. And now we need to take the admin and the password. And to extract the password, there is another command that we can get the password from here. So this is the password. He gives exclamation signs and awesome. So we can say admin and the password. And here we go. Officially, we are now inside of our Grafana GUI interface and you can create some dashboard. So you can uh, you can click here on the plus sign and the import and you can import by giving some value. It means I'm going to share you one uh, link, the one dashboard link. So from there, you can get the most uh, like uh, designing and the most uh, valuable dashboard. You can pick it from here. So basically this is the site which I am going to give the link in the description sections and here you can uh, take this particular ID and you can uh, 
you can utilize you can import it on your main grafana cluster base part of the selection of particular dashboard is you can see the numbers of the download and the reviews right so uh, the particular i mean whichever is uh, mostly downloaded you can take that particular id and you can import it so i am searching one and uh, okay this one is only 10000 okay so you can see that this is the dashboard which has been mostly downloaded so i am going to take this and there is a id 315 i say copy id clipboard and i go here i paste this dashboard and i say load now by default since my prometheus is running so by default it will fetch the details from here and i say import so after importing it we received our dashboard and the particular data you can select by timing here and you can check the data let's suppose that you want to check the data from last one hour so you can select it and you can keep track of your cluster health check so i think yeah this is the most easiest way to keep track of your cluster health check and you can get all the valuable informations from here then apart from that if you uh, if you guys like to know more about the grafana dashboard then let me know in the comment sections and i will make one separate video on the grafana topic yeah that's all for this lecture guys if you like my videos then please do like share and subscribe my channel and i will see you in my next tutorial so till the time bye bye thank you so much for watching this take care